The sponsor of the program is Poczta Polska. There are over 28 million internet users in Poland. 83% of them shopped online, according to the Gemius Polska report. The period of pandemic and restrictions in economic and social life, which prompted many people to buy online, may be significant. Online shoppers today are most often younger people with higher education and a positive assessment of the financial situation of their household. However, our preferences regarding the collection of parcels are changing. Instead of ordering delivery by courier to home or work, we prefer parcel machines or collection points. We are equally happy to use the option of pickup at the store closest to our house. Convenience and time saving significantly affects the development of the e-commerce market. The e-commerce sector is developing very dynamically in Poland and in the world. It has been developing very fast in the recent years. The time of the pandemic has caused the acceleration to gain additional speed and is actually developing at an express pace. There are no exact estimates for 2020 yet, but it is said that the entire market in Poland and in the world of e-commerce is to be worth about 4 trillion US dollars. This is a huge amount. In Poland, it is estimated about 80 billion Polish Zlotys for this year only. For comparison, uh, for the previous year, it was about 60 billion Polish Zlotys. That means the increase at the level of 25 to 30 percent. Of course, there are optimists in Poland who estimate that this year will be worth even around 110 billion. I think that the potential of e-commerce share in the total value volume of trade is around 50 to 60 percent. And I think that we will aim for it. Currently, the world, the share is around 16 percent. In Poland, it's around 7 to 8 percent. It can be seen that we have still a lot of catching up to do, especially when it comes to the international potential. Here, of course, the Chinese dominate. They create the largest sales in the world, but also a lot of Chinese buy online. But I think that, as I mentioned, this 50 to 60 percent potential is the maximum that can be achieved. So looking at the Polish market, which, as I mentioned, is about 7 to 8 percent now, it can be expected that the coming years this market will grow five to six times. The holiday peak means an increased number of shipments for postal operations, but also the need to ensure business continuity in epidemic situation. This affects not only the level of services, but also the hiring of employees. As in previous years, during the Christmas rush, we encourage Poles to do their shopping earlier, to prepare themselves, not to postpone these purchases until the last minute. At the same, we try to deliver these desired gifts to our customers as soon as possible. We deliver these parcels, they are delivered by over 6,300 couriers and nearly 25,000 postmen. And at the same time, we are doing additional seasonal employment, which is primarily to improve work on our sorting plants and to clear the significantly larger parcel traffic in this period. Each Christmas peak is longer and longer and we are preparing for not only before hiring additional employees, but also because we work on Saturdays and uh, we also start this work in a large agglomerations where the traffic is particularly increased. Also, this is not only hiring employees, but it is also the improvement of logistic procedures, special supervision, focus and attention to our goal, which is safe and quick delivery of gifts to our customers. We react to that enough to say, well, fluently. If uh, the number of parcels in a given region increase, we increase the number of couriers there, but also launch additional collection points there. In short, we are already operational and we are already working. We streamline critical path and introduce new solutions, for example, a postal windows that are dedicated only to parcel delivery. The holiday season, especially during a pandemic, is a real challenge for operators. Poczta Polska has recorded a record increase in the number of items at that time.
Poczta Polska employs 80,000 people and shipments are delivered daily by 6,300 couriers and 25,000 postmen. So we have a fairly large fixed supply of people who deliver the packages. For this pre-holiday period, we hire additional people. Last year it was over 2,000 workers. If necessary, we will also employ this number of workers this year. Recruitment is carried out all the time and candidates still can apply. However, at this point we already have about 50% more turnover per week than in other weeks of the year. It also means that our couriers work more intensively and will also work on Saturdays. We estimate that before Christmas we may be 50 or 60 percent more shipments than in other weeks of the year and indeed our estimates are already been confirmed so this week after the black friday and black weekend sales we are already had a 50 percent of increase we are ready for an even greater number of parcels in the coming weeks this year is above all the year of epidemic and therefore uh, the year of safety we have focused on such challenges in services that guarantee the safety of our clients and employees. We replace the traditional signature with a PIN number. And this is such an important change that is being introduced this year for customers. This PIN, which we receive by SMS, replaces the traditional signature. After all, the pre-holiday parcel peak means increasing the intensity of work for courier logistic companies. This is evident in the last quarter of the year, especially before the Christmas. Then the online shopping fever is much higher than in the remaining months of the year. As for the method of delivering the goods requested by our customers to the place where the shipments are received, until a few years ago these were a courier deliveries to door-to-door -door services. This has changed over the years. Poles love picking up at parcel machines, recently at points where these parcels are delivered and can be picked up at a convenient time. This trend towards pickup at drop-offs and parcel machines is developing independently of the pandemic. Due to the pandemic, we do not want to collect parcels by contacting various people. Therefore, collection in parcel machines has become very popular. This can be seen in a significant gains of parcel machine deliveries that are greater than door-to-door -door deliveries and larger than point-to-point -point deliveries. Courier deliveries are also quite popular due to the fact that we do not have to leave the house. When we work from home, our children are also there, our whole world is there, so we order a home delivery. However, due to the fact that home delivery before the pandemic was not always the most convenient form of collecting the parcels, because often when we are working, we are not uh, at home, therefore the courier delivered a package when we were not at home and we had to make an appointment with the courier or go to the some point to pick up there. It has become a very popular option to pick up a parcel at drop points, such as gas station shops or other places, because we can choose the time and place of this collection and do so while coming back from work, coming back from school, from training or another place. The supply of larger products has also been developing for several years. For example, tires or furniture or household items, such as washing machines, refrigerators, or even gardening supplies. It can be said that today there are fewer and fewer products that cannot be purchased online. In fact, all industries are developed, but they develop at a different pace and increasingly take away sales from traditional stores. One of the key distinguishing features of Poczta Polska on the courier service market, building a competitive advantage, is the multi-channel delivery. The courier can deliver purchases directly to the address or to the selected point indicated by the recipient. It is the customer who decides which option to choose. We observe customer preferences, we observe the preferences of our customers and we know that collection points are becoming more and more popular. 25% of parcels, courier parcels, are picked up 
at these points and before Christmas it can be up to 30% and similar trends are also observed at other postal and courier operators. Customers are more and more willing to use collection points to be sure that I will collect the parcel at a convenient time. In order for our gift, our purchase that we want to make for Christmas to arrive on time and make a desired impression, several elements must be taken into account. Also the fact that online stores are literally under siege at the moment, so there are such an increased period of traffic for them and also the usual times in which they sent out are slightly prolonged. Of course, there is an increased movement of shipments in logistic companies and this is another element that must be taken into account because, of course, it is a special time and there are a lot of these shipments, especially then. And in the case of foreign shipments, unfortunately this year, the situation is additionally complicated by the pandemic situation because some flights are cancelled and for example you only have to use vehicular traffic. In this way we try to ensure that parcels reach our customers and we provide this option to send our collect parcels from our customers or from foreign stores. The pandemic has indeed caused a such a large acceleration of the digitization trend. This means for the post office that we have fewer traditional letters and this is very clear trend that we are seeing this year. Digitization has accelerated. We reacted by offering more digital services and more possibilities for dealing with postal matters also via the internet. Our Envelo platform you can for example use e-cards that will be printed and delivered by the post office in the traditional way. You can use many of our services by logging in with a trusted profile and we give our customers such opportunities because digitization is processing this year a new law on electronic delivery was also passed electronic delivery will enter into force in 2021 and from october 1st we will be able to receive official correspondence to our e-mail boxes Poczta Polska, as one of the few companies and entities with certain public significance, worked all the time and was for customers all the time. We did not stop our work also during this deep lockdown this spring, when in fact many public institutions were closed. We functioned. At the same time, we noticed that the number of registered online stores increased during the pandemic. Entities that operate on the internet, those entities that previously relied on a very traditional way of operating during a pandemic have switched to the internet. We are also opening ourselves to the stream of functioning of the economy and we want to be present here very strongly. We have noticed this increase when in summer, in July, commercial outlets were already opened, when all these restrictions related to COVID-19 were loosened. Then we noticed, uh, basically, all logistic operators noticed certain decrease in internet activity. However, now in the Atom, there has been quite a lot of activity uh, of economic entities that use the internet. So we try to be present here, we want to be present. In this way, we also change our strategy. The ability to respond to changes in the market is a key word, especially during a pandemic. This has an impact on the e-commerce market. At the beginning of this pandemic, we mainly ordered essentials. We also ordered equipment for teleworking, such as cameras and laptops. We did not order clothes. This changed later. Naturally, orders had to be ordered and shopping centers were closed. Furniture stores were also closed and we started ordering furniture online. Even though these are not essential, this increase is visible, but there are no estimates or precise even though these are not essentials. This increase is visible, but there are no estimates or precise data yet. You have to wait until the beginning of the next year, and then we will know to what extent the pandemic accelerated the e-commerce market. The analysis and development forecast for the e-commerce market for 2020-2025 indicates that in Poland this growth will be even higher than previously predicted and will amount to 26%. 
So, there is something to fight for. The program was sponsored by Poczta Polska.